So in this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how you can create your review links. Um, I have been talking about this feature for quite a long time because this is one of my favorite feature in this platform. Because as a business, I believe everyone needs to collect their reviews. Like everyone needs to, you know, like they need to uh, know what their customers or what their clients are talking about. And reviews are great for, you know, for your business, right? So you do want to collect reviews. Uh, so by just by creating this review link, you can send these links to your clients or to your customers. And you can just collect real reviews from them. As well as you can also automate the whole review intake process just by using this feature. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how you can do that, okay? I'm just gonna click on this link, click on this button, add review link. Just gonna give a name, like review uh, link name, suppose um, my first review link, okay? URL slug is how I want my URL to look like. Uh, we recently uh, have integrated this custom domain feature where uh, you know you can just add a custom domain and people, your client or your you know customers will not know anything about sticky reviews. They will be just these review links will be created by your custom domain. So whatever URL slug you are giving, you will be just like you know your your sticky reviews or your custom domain and then slash and then my whatever the slug you are going to give. So I'm just gonna be, go ahead and give a sticky promo, okay? So auto approve. This is the best feature, okay? So I do recommend to turn it on because if you turn it on, you're gonna get this option like where they are asking you to find minimum rating. So if you want the ratings to go, like the reviews that you are collecting from your customers or from your clients to go to your website directly and you have a criteria that, okay, anything equals to four star or above four star should go to your website directly, right? So you can do that. You can just click, you can just uh, select four star. So anything equals to four star or above four star will automatically go to your website. You don't have to come to this platform and like approve them manually. It will automatically be approved. And that's why this feature is called auto approve. And that's how you can actually automate your whole review link, you know, with this process that your reviews, review intake process, that all the reviews, whatever coming under like your criteria, it's matching with your criteria, it will go to your, it will get like stick to your website automatically. If you want all your reviews to go to your website, then you can just go ahead and select one star. I do not recommend that. So I'm just gonna go and give a maybe like four star, okay? So anything equals to four star or above four star is gonna go to my website directly. I don't have to go come in here and manually approve it. So that's called the auto approve. You can, you can turn it off, but I do not recommend it. I always recommend to turn it on. So I am gonna have it turn it on, turned on. Select campaign is where I want this review link and where I want these reviews to go. Like, so basically this is my first campaign that I have already created a campaign and I already have a page where my campaign is launched. So I want all these reviews to go to that particular page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select that campaign. Custom domain, I don't have any right now because I haven't went to that part yet. So which I'm gonna come up later. I'm gonna show you how I can do that. So basically if you have a custom domain, you can stick here and like, I mean, you can select a custom domain and your review link is gonna create like your review link is going to be created by your custom domain. So I'm not having one, so I'm just gonna leave it blank. Uh, upload an image, let's see if I have an image, okay. I have it, I have one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select this penguin image, okay. Enter description. So review links are what, uh, I'm just gonna go take you to this page. So basically, as you can see, the, this is the image that I just selected a penguin image. And this is my uh, description, okay? So if I say, suppose, uh, you know, hey, how did you like our offer, okay? So they're gonna see this description and then there is this positive review message. So basically, if they recommend us, they're gonna be asked with a question that like, would you like to recommend us? So if they recommend us, they say yes, they're gonna go through this flow. If they say no, they're gonna come to this flow. So if they say yes, anything uh, coming under yes is going to, you know, it's going, it's basically a positive review. Uh, so it might be a sticky review, which might, you know, if you have an auto approve one, then it might go to your website directly, but it, it is a positive review because they are recommending us, right? 
So anything uh, coming under here is it's a uh, positive review. So you're gonna give a positive message. So then that they are gonna see if they say yes, and they are gonna go through this process like giving a review, and they're gonna get a positive message from you that hey, thanks for you know like hey, thank you for showing your interest. Okay. Negative info one. So if they say no, which I just said, if they, they don't recommend us, anything they don't recommend, it goes under negative masses, like negative, you know, negative reviews. So if they say no, they are gonna, uh, they still have to give some information and we, after that, we are, we are gonna collect some more information by showing them a negative info message one. That, hey, you know, like, okay, what? did not you like about it please give us your email con information like contact information so that we stay in touch okay that's my negative info one Negative info two is after they just give their contact information like email or their phone number, they are gonna get the last message, which was negative, which is going to be my negative info two. So basically I'm gonna give a message like, thanks for the, for the information. Someone from our team will be in touch, okay? Okay, that's my negative info message one. Okay, I'm sorry, two. So after this, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the next step. And you're gonna see that this is the image that I just selected, the penguin image. And this was my review link name, my first review link that I have just did, I have just given a name here. So that's my review link name. And this is uh, the matches that the like, description that I had given here that, uh, you know, how did you like our offer? So they are going to see. So basically, this is my, how my review link is gonna like how my review, when they click on the link, how my pop up is gonna look like, right? So I can customize this as well. So I can just you know go ahead and choose a background. I can uh, change the model background if I don't like white. So I'm just gonna go maybe give a like this, okay? And then I can choose the text. I can change the text color as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a black color, okay? Or uh, maybe yeah, like this. This looks good, and I can just give a copyright text if I want users to see that. Okay, this is powered by suppose sticky reviews. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and save my review link. Okay, now my review link is created, and I see uh, the name that I have given. On I have I see the campaign that I have attached. I see the URL slug and created that and I see these actions, okay? And I also see that auto approve on and like this is poster I have given. I'm, I'm, I can just turn it off from here as well. And I can just turn it on again and give the same thing like four star and then save it again, okay? So I see all these actions, uh, which is the, this is basically the edit options that you can edit your review link again, and you can if you want to edit anything, you can. Uh, this is basically uh, it's gonna take you to the review link that you just have created. This is the copy feature, which is gonna copy your review link, so that you see review link has been copied, and if this is the delete feature that you can just delete your review link. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to my review link. Okay, so now you see, uh, here's the picture that I had given, right? My first, like the uh, picture I had chosen here, the penguin picture. Uh, here's the thing that I have given the description that, hey, how did you like our offer? How did you like our offer? And would you recommend us? If I say yes, you remember if I say yes, I recommend it. Then it will give me a, it will try to collect my reviews and then after that process, it will take, give me a positive message, message that I have given here, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the yes. Yes, I do recommend you. Okay, now here's the best part. As you can see, uh, you can give a title, like you can give a title of your review best offer, okay? 
Now this is the these are the best like this is the best part. Okay, you can uh, select textual audio and video reviews. As I have I have told you guys that you can select you can create your sticky reviews right. You can create your sticky reviews and also you can uh, collect reviews from the users right. So you can create sticky reviews like as in audio, video, and text format. But as well as you can collect the reviews in the same format. So basically, use it now can give you review like give you review. Which is which could be an audio file, which could be a video, which could be a textual. How awesome is that, right? Because now you can now like when now when someone is coming to the to your website, they're gonna they're gonna go and see like they're gonna get a you know or they're gonna get to listen how what they are like what other people are talking about your like product or your offer, what other people are saying about your offer. They get they're gonna go and like they get to see those, right? So I'm just gonna go and select an audio. I uh, I can upload an audio file. I can record an audio file. I'm not gonna go and record because I know I'm making this training video, so it's not gonna work for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and upload an audio file. Okay. So let's see if I have an audio file here. Um, okay, I have this one. I can just listen to this one as well. So this is my audio file. I can give a four star. I can give any star here. So as well as. Uh, just one minute, yeah. So let's see. Let's give a star, okay? So if I'm giving a four or if I'm giving a five, as I have told you, the auto approve my auto approve was on. So if I'm giving a four or if I'm giving a five star here, it will automatically go to my website, the website that I have launched the campaign at. So it is gonna go to the website directly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give a five star, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and save it. Now it's gonna ask me the question that can you use your review in our website? So if I say yes, so it's gonna basically it's gonna go to the website directly as I have told you, like it's it's matching with my auto approval criteria. So it's gonna go to my website directly, as well as it's gonna get a tag as sticky review in the sticky like under the sticky reviews tab, you're gonna see all these different tags like positive reviews, negative reviews, audio review, video reviews. And the sticky reviews, publishable, non-publishable. So publishable, basically, if you if a user is allowing us to publish the reviews, it's gonna get a tag as publishable review. So if I'm going and I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And as well as you have noticed that this is the URL slug that I told you that I have given URL slug as sticky promo. So this is this is my URL slug. Also, as you can see, the uh, URL slug as sticky promo. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and go okay, see, say yes, okay. So now they're asking me to upload a picture. So I can just go ahead and upload a picture. I'm just gonna go and select this one. And I'm gonna save the picture, save the review, review. Okay, thanks for showing your interest. And this was my positive message. As you can see, if I go here, um, just one second, please. Just gonna go here. And as you can see, thanks for showing your interest. So that was my positive message. That was the last message that they're gonna see if they are going to the recommending yes process, basically that yes, they do recommend us and they're gonna get the positive message. So now this my review should be uh, good to go to the website because I have given a five star. So as well as it's gonna come to the sticky review under the sticky reviews. And in, as you can see the best offer, that was my emails that have selected. This was my star rating, user review, audio review, positive review, publishable, sticky review. Sticky review because as I have told you that it did match with my auto approved criteria. I had given five stars. So it's a sticky review because it already stick to my website. And it's a positive review and it's publishable because I allowed the user to publish my review. So I'm just gonna now I'm just gonna go to my website and see if it uh, if it actually has appeared in the website or not. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the page once. Just gonna go. Just gonna wait for some time because I had given a delay and the sticky reviews are appearing. So let's see if it's no, not this one. This was something else. So the, my audio review was the best offer. The message was best offer, right? So let's see. It should come. Yeah, this one. Basically, as you can see, this was the same review that I just had created. I just had given from the review links best offer, right? So here you go, that already has been stick to my website. So now I'm gonna go ahead one more time and go through the same process, but this time maybe I'm just gonna go to the not recommending us part, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and do uh, that not, I don't recommend you, okay? 
Okay. So I'm just gonna give uh, did not like it. And this time maybe I'm just gonna go ahead and upload a video. Okay, and upload a video because I cannot record a video. You can record a user can record a video uh, if they are not in some Zoom training, like making you know maybe making the training videos or something. So they can record a video, but I cannot right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and upload a video. Okay, so let's see if I have any videos. Okay, I have this one. This is my face. So I have this one. I can just play it. Okay, that's cool. And then I'm just gonna give a uh, two star rating, okay? As you can see, this is powered by Sticky Reviews. This was in my copyright tag, so that also, as you can see here. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a uh, save, okay? Now, this is my positive, like, pos uh, negative info one, my like, like, negative message one, basically, which I had given. If I go to the edit part again, I'm gonna show you. And you can see that I given what did not, what didn't you like about it? Please give us your contact information so that we can stay in touch. So I'm just basically trying to collect some more information about them so that you know I can just you know I can maybe I can improve my service or I can improve uh, whatever they didn't like about. So I can just contact them in later and then I can ask them that hey, what didn't you like about it? So that we can improve it, right? So I can just go. To, I I can do that. So I'm just gonna give an email. Maybe at gmail.com. Not gonna go ahead and give a phone number, so I'm just gonna go ahead and save it. And this is my last matches that negative info too, as I have told you. Thanks for providing the information. Someone from our team will be in touch. And this is the same message that the user is gonna get. So now you can now you understand. So now this review is gonna go to the um, sticky reviews as well, but it's gonna get a negative review tag as you can see. Two star rating, negative review tag. You can just go ahead anytime if you if you still want this review to be in, in your campaign, you can just go ahead and you can stick your reviews here. So basically, you just go to your campaign and. Go to your campaign edit, and you can still stick this CV if you want this reviews to be shown up on your website. I'm not gonna do that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead one more time, like last time. I'm gonna show you that how if you have like if you if it doesn't match your auto approved criteria, which was four, and I had like it was something user has given something below four. So what's gonna happen? Okay. So I'm this time I'm gonna go ahead and give a text review. And suppose uh, was expected something more, okay? Liked it, but need some more interesting discounts, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and give a three step this time because I had chosen my auto active criteria as four. So anything equals to four or above four would go to my website automatically. So I'm just gonna give a three star. So this should not go to my website automatically, right? So can you use a review in our website? I'm just gonna say no, okay? Thanks for showing your interest. That was my, that was my positive message. Now let's see if it's go coming to I'm coming under the sticky review. Yes, it did came. And as you can see, user review, textual review, positive review, non-publishable because it's user did not allow the allow us to publish the review. So it's getting a non-publishable tag. As well as it's a positive review still because they did recommend us. So I can still go in, as I said, I can still go into my campaign and then I can still, you know, like stick this review to my campaign if I want. But now let's go to the website and see what's happening over there. The review should not come. And let's see, that was my auto approved uh, review. And then there is a delay, yes. So the review did not come. As you can see, these, was the, these, are the, like, these were the reviews which was, already, uh, like, which was already there from previous. So I already selected these reviews. So these are only is getting rotated. So the new one that I just given, which didn't uh, fill with my, you know, auto approved criteria, it did not show up there. So that's all you needed to know about review links. Now you can really now you can understand this review link how good of a feature it is because I know it it just makes your life awesome. It just makes your life easier. 
to collect reviews from the real people and just automate the whole review intake process. So in the next few videos, I'm just going to go through and go through the custom domain and Zapier integration.